everybody. This is Will Harris here with Quantum USA. We're here today to talk to you about our feeding regimen for all of our corals and all of our non-photosynthetic corals as well as our photosynthetic corals. We have our products called Coral Cane here and our BioEnhance. Our Coral Cane is our food supplement. It's made of 110 different ingredients. It does not contain any excessive nutrients, unwanted nutrients that will get into your water column. What I mean by that is yes, there's phosphate and nitrates. There's phosphate and nitrates in every food in the industry. However, we take it a step further than anybody else out there and we actually put it into the actual food particle that you're feeding your corals, meaning that it's only being digest digested in the corals themselves. It will not leach out into your water column and cause any excessive nutrient issues in your tank. As long as you run good filtration, mechanical filtration, hang on the back filtration, anything like that to pull out any excessive food that doesn't get consumed, then you'll be just fine in that category. So, some of the other benefits to coral cane that we have. It, it has multiple different grains of particle sizes in there for you to feed any type of coral you're after, whether it's an LPS coral, an SPS coral, an NPS coral, or a non-photosynthetic coral, which we will show you today as we feed one of our sun corals, um, or going into your SPS corals. It does look like it's wet. The reason that is is because it's got a very high, high, high concentration of fat lipids. The reason for that is is to give you a full protein source for your corals, as well as your amino acids, your carbohydrates, and any of your other vitamins and minerals that you're needed. To complement our Coral King, we have our product called BioEnhance. It is a five-in-one amino acid. So what that has in it is it's got your amino acids, your fatty acids, your carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, as well as a complete protein. The complete protein gives the energy that you're getting from the carbohydrates for your coral, gives them the meat and the source of nutrients that they need to be able to process and digest and get that great growth and color that everybody is after. So let's look in how we recommend you guys mix these guys together. So what you have here, as you see, is it is a very thick paste, okay? With this, well, not really a paste, more like a pellet granular type form, don't know. Um, but what it is, is you use a full scoop for a heavily stocked tank for 26 gallons, three quarters of a scoop for a medium sized tank or a half a scoop for a lightly stocked tank or as you're just beginning. Some of us have extremely, extremely heavily stocked tanks. We can use three or four scoops and still get away with it. But what you're gonna do is we're gonna go with one scoop because we're dosing our highly stocked 25 gallon water box tank behind us. We're gonna go with one scoop for 10 milliliters for a paste, okay? If you wanna go for a broadcast, you're gonna do one scoop per 20 milliliters, okay? We're also going to add one milliliter of our BioEnhance to that. And then we're going to smash it up with this activator rod that comes in. The activator rod is breaking up what we use to break up the capsule and then actually feed your corals the best. So you're just going to mix it up. When you add the BioEnhance, all right, I'm done using this little guy. When, you're, uh, when you add the BioEnhance, you want to let it sit for two to three minutes. That way the nutrients can all soak in even better for you. And once you've got it mixed up, let it sit for a couple minutes, and then we'll go over and feed the tank. All right, guys, we're over here now with the water box 20, 20 gallon water box cube with the AI Prime Light. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take that direct feed mixture I made with the coral cane and the bioenhance, and we're gonna slowly drop it on all these corals. Starting with the Duncan all the way to the mushrooms, a little bitty cristata that's in here. Oh, this mushroom's beautiful candy cane corals and then let's go up here to some of the Aussie torches and our big old watermelon grande and these are some big old pallies we'll hit these guys too little guys all like it but right now let me grab some more here the utter chaos is back here these are actually from my house these are beautiful beautiful corals hit these spider manzos that's what they tell me they are here, so. All right, here's this other torch over here. Oh, let go of me. There you go. Let's get some more down here for this scully. This little button scully down here is absolutely beautiful. Oops, I covered the light. I'm trying. There we go. All right, egg cans. Y'all feelers are coming out. You can have some now. All right, the fun one, guys. Even our clams. So out of all that mixture with that full scoop I did, I fed every coral in here with 10 milliliters 
of water and one thing of bio enhance one milliliter of bio enhance and I've still got about half a mixture left so I probably did a little bit too much so that just shows you guys with the amount of coral that's in this tank and absolutely feeding every single coral in here that's a lot of food so this 66 container of food will last you a long time um, oh there goes the clam he's got his butt way up there he goes <laughs> he's like give me more And you can see if you look at the Kenya tree right here in the middle, he's even got his polyps open. He would like a little bit. And then sure, why not? We'll mix to the broadcast feed for that, those guys. You'll see them all start closing up. You guys, that's a mixture of the coral cane and the bio enhance. So we do one scoop of coral cane for 26 gallons for a heavily stocked tank, and one scoop for a 62 gallon if it's not heavily stocked. Um, mix it with one milliliter of your bio enhance, 10 milliliters of your aquarium water, or 20 milliliters of your aquarium water, depending on what consistency you're after. Again, I just fed this 20 gallon cube by water box, about a scoop and a half almost, and it's a good bit of food. Um, so this will last you a long time. You can see everything is eating pretty quick. We're now just gonna let it go through a time lapse and show you what it looks like after a little bit. Our sun coral that we're trying to rehab right now, he loves this stuff. You can watch him catch it. Go away! <laughs> Don't come bite me back. You see how he's pulling it in pretty quickly. It's pretty cool.